How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your follower or subscription goals that you could display on stream. Now if you guys are new to the channel, new to the series, you're wanting to learn the technical side of streaming or how to grow, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying that content. And if you also want to follow me on my networks, you can see all that information in the video description below. So to set up a follower and subscription goal is very simple. You're going to create your scene. You're going to go over to source, click on the plus, And what you're going to be looking for is the different types of goals. So you have your follower goal and you also have like a subs uh, subscription goal. So we'll click on follower goal first. And it's very simple, it's something very similar to this. And you can have this for like Mixer followers or Twitch followers. Now, depending on where you're streaming, things could be a little bit different as to what kind of following goals you'll actually have as an option. So same thing with the subscription goals. Now, that's why I wanted to mention this earlier about how depending on where you go can also determine like different information. So on YouTube, they have members, which is kind of a, kind of like the same thing as subscriptions, but they don't have any of that type of stuff for like followers. So we're going to click on follower goal first. We're going to give it a name and this is going to be exactly how it is so you don't have to worry about this stuff up here the width height and fps you don't have to worry about that and for the goals you're going to give it a title you're going to give it the amount you want the starting amount and when you want it to end and then you go to visuals and this is where you can adjust the layout you can do standard or you can do condensed i personally like condensed more that way i can have everything in one box so once you have all of this set up, how you like it in terms of like background color and everything like that, then you can also change the font if you would like to. So that's going to be right there. You can change the thickness of the bar, which will make it a little bit smaller if you need to. And that way you don't have to worry about it taking up too much space on stream. So then once that's done, you go to source. This is if you ever need to go and clear the cache, if it's giving you some problems, maybe you just need to reset it or something like that. Then you just click on this button and it refreshes. So once you're done with that, now you can see that you have your sample goal here for followers. So now we're going to go and create a subscription one. So subscription goal, we'll give it a name. We'll leave it as that. And for this one, it's going to be a little bit different. So you're going to have your goal here. As you can see, I already have one started, you know, monthly sub goal five. So this is what it will look like when you have stuff already put together. Visual stuff is going to be like this, just like I showed you on the one for followers and then source, of course, is going to be for whenever you need to uh, refresh it. So if you want to ever end a goal, you can end it and then it goes right back to basically allowing you to give it a title, a goal amount, the start amount, and then the end date for it. So once you have all that together, then you can go ahead and hit save. And now you have two of the actual goals that you want to show. Now, if you want to have this showing on like multiple scenes, you'll have to recreate it. And when you do that, if you wanted to create another sub goal, what you're going to do is go add source and then it's going to ask you if you want to use the same one. So if you do, then you can just select it on this list, go to add source, and then you'll have two. So now I have two. But if you wanted to start a brand new one, you could do that as well. So if we go back to sub goal, add source, you can click this little ticker at the bottom here where it says add a new source instead. When you do that, it's going to then allow you to give it another name and then you'll be able to go through the same steps again. But that's pretty much how you set up the follower goal, sub goal type thing. Very simple, very easy to do. But if you guys have any questions about it or if you are new to the channel, new to the series, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You can reach out to me on my other networks, which are going to be found in the video description below. But I'll see you guys in a future video and thank you so much for watching.